Nice big hind. There she is. Nice good sized hind. Shot in the bush. I think that's the 11th or 12th of September today. So it's start of spring but it's not, not a warm day, it's all cloudy. No no sun, full cloud today and I'm right up on the top of a ridge where if you are looking for a seeker today you would not be looking here not a hard outwind but a consistent breeze coming up and it's not really warm or sheltered here where a lot of people say that you need to look for them there was at least one other with her Maybe the young one or another hind and the young one with it. That's where the shot's gone in and it's she was sort of quartering on to me so it's come out about behind the shoulder on the other side. She dropped at the shot and then just kicked around. Probably only 25 metres through there. Cloudy and misty up there. Just stopped back along the ridge over there to have a look. Look around and then she actually whistled at me. And so I slowly put the bolt down and the safety off and was mewing at her just to confuse her and then shot her without her even moving. Is half done. Back stake goes right up in there. That's where the shot, shots come in the front of the lungs, and then it's probably taken out the other side of the lung, and the other shoulder might be buggered. See if I can get on video pulling the eye fillets out without gutting it, but it might be a bit tricky without a GoPro. So you can see there I've cut along there, you can see the guts right there, and through there you can see the bats, uh, the eye fillet right there. So you just free up all the way under. I'll probably go a bit higher and then just. You can mainly free it up with your hand or stick your knife under there and clear it right off and chop it up high and then chop it down low as far as you can go and then pull it out. Better than leaving it there. There it is, all meat off it. All four legs. That leg's a bit damaged. Back stakes and ice fillets cooling down real good in the breeze. Bit of blue sky up there. These are blooming freezing these already just from being in the wind. Oh, 
sure there's a bit of weight to that. I was watching that yearling from just up through there and I come down to where it was and it must have just been bedded down ran off that way without a whistle or anything 